Today, I'm going to talk about a disease that is called trichomonosis. Um, if, as you can see from the title, I'm specifically going to, I guess, focus on the diseases in finches and songbirds. So trichomonosis is caused by a parasite, and it takes hold in the mouth and throat of birds, and it produces inflammation, swelling, and ulcers. The disease has been well documented in pigeon and doves in the United Kingdom, uh, but since then it has, it has spread geographically, so it spread through Europe and it has, in the recent past, uh, been found in eastern Canada and has popped up in songbirds and more predominantly in finches over here. Um, it is a terrible disease. Uh, it causes birds to be unable to swallow their food. So it causes anorexia, which leads to weight loss and weakness. It is very difficult to watch. Um, they're often seen around the bird feeders and baths, and people will be calling us in and saying, you know, that they've noticed that their birds are salivating and vomiting up the food, or it looks like they're choking. Um, the bird ultimately dies of starvation or, you know, from choking. Uh, because it's a parasite, the when they regurgitate the food, um, the parasite is in that food, and that's infective. Uh, and this happens at a feeder. Uh, other birds can easily pick it up because they'll be coming up after the sick bird has been there, and then they'll pack at the seeds, and they'll, they'll pick up the parasite that way. Um, so the disease can rapid, rapidly decimate through a songbird population around uh, a home. So the moment that the disease is suspected, we recommend that the owner take down the feeders and bath to thoroughly wash, and, wash them and let them dry. No food or water should be offered on the property for three to four weeks, um, maybe even more, but we do recommend a minimum of three to four weeks. Not because of the parasite on the premise, because if you've washed uh, everything, you know, your, your uh, bird feeder should be fine. But you hopefully disperse the birds a little until the disease runs its course so that the affected birds are, are not close to the other healthy ones and, and decrease the chances of them of coming in contact with infected saliva. Um, as this disease occurs mostly in the summer months, natural food supply are, are plenty, so homeowners shouldn't be worried about the birds not being able to procure enough food. Um, you know, for to survive. Um, this is something that, again, we've got a lot of calls about last summer. Um, you know, uh, from everything from purple finches to gold finches, um, it it is it runs its course. And you know, we we would get calls from homeowners saying, "Hey, I, I found one last week. Didn't really think much of it, but then in the last three days, I, I found two more. Uh, I'm getting worried." And we would, you know, these are the recommendations that we would give them. Uh, and we'd tell them if they wanted to send in the uh, uh, the dead birds that we would look through them and confirm the disease. And and it was indeed, in most cases, trichomonosis. Um, so this is just a, an intro to the disease. Uh, I didn't really go in depth as far as pathology-wise. Um, I'm definitely going to post a video that goes more into what the lesions look like and a little bit more for those who are interested, you know, in the disease process. Uh, so please check that out uh, if you're interested in that. Um, and I will talk about another disease next time. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.